Okay, so I'm going to tie a variant of a fly called the Harding Special. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is Uni Thread 81 weight. So I'm just going to come in, attach this behind the eye of the hook, run on a few turns and just remove the waist tag of the thread. Now, the tag on the fly is oval silver tinsel and small. So just kind of like this off the spool. I'm just going to offer this underneath the, the hook. Now I'm just going to run my thread down, tying this in. Now I'm just going to bring my thread slightly past the point of the hook. And then I'm going to come around with four turns of the oval silver tinsel. On the fifth turn, I'm just going to bring it up and in between the, the two hooks. Then I'm just going to come around with my thread, just tying in the, the excess oval silver tinsel. Then you can just come in and clip this away. Now the tail on the fly is golden pheasant crest feathers and I've got two here so I'm just going to pull this into the length that I like. I'm happy enough with that there. Now I'm just going to run this up a bit to there. And then I'm going to come in and just trim this, the length of the, the body. Now, on the original pattern, the fly calls for yellow floss as a hot tag. I'm just going to use glow bright floss number 10. So I'm just going to bring my thread back down, tied up against my oval silver tinsel to there. And then I'm going to come in and attach in the globe right floss number 10. And then I'm just going to run my thread up, tying in the floss and the remainder of the golden pheasant crest feather. Right the whole way up to there. And then I'm going to come in with my whip finishing tool and just throw in a I would finish. I'm going to cast my thread off here just simply because I need to protect the, the glue braid floss at the back. So I'm just going to come in with the glue braid floss here, create a nice tag at the back. Nice braid tag to there. Now keep your thread tight. You can come in with your whip finishing tool and just the one a couple of whip finishes pull that up tight pull your floss tight and then just come in and trim that away now to protect the tag i'm just going to use a wee tiny drop of uv resin so not looking too much of this stuff just a wee tiny drop onto the tag and then i'll come in with my needle I'm just going to spread this around the tag. Don't want looking into my tail. Just want to spread it around the tag. Just to protect it. Just makes your fly last that wee bit longer. If you're able to do this. Then you come in with your torch. And just give everything a quick blast to dry the UV resin. enough of that. Now I'm going to come in with to finish the fly off with uni thread 801 black. So just come in, attach your thread on, run a few turns on and remove the waste. Now the body on the fly is going to have a silver tinsel and to protect that I'm going to use silver wire. So attach your silver wire underneath and then just run your thread down, tied up against your glow bright floss tag. Now the body on the fly, as I say, is going to be able or silver tinsel. So I'm just going to take a length of this silver and gold Mylar tinsel, and trim that off, and then I'm going to offer this up to the hook, full length of the body, and then take your thread up. 
tying all this in. Now, just bring your float your tinsel up, sorry. Nice tight turns. One turn overlapping the other. It makes for a nice strong fly. Nice and tight to there. Follow it around with your thread. And then turn the hole. A couple of turns to secure. Come in and remove the excess of your tinsel. And then just bring up your wire. Right, just look in four turns of the silver wire. Then come around and catch that in. A couple of turns to secure. And bend and break away. Just going to bring this up. Get the bit of thread down from the materials at the front. Now, the wing on the fly is going to be grey squirrel dyed orange. The original pattern was a fox squirrel. So I'm just going to take a small pinch of this and trim this away from the tail. Just clean away any rubbish that may be at the bottom. I'm just going to stack it. I'm just going to put it into the hair stagger here. Give it a wee rattle on mature. All the tips have lined up. Just remove that from the hair stagger. Right. The length of the wing is up to your shelf. Just going to have it slightly past halfway in the tail. So I'm just going to hold up a finger and thumb there. And then I'm going to come around, or sorry, I'm going to come in with my scissors. Just mark that. And then I'm just going to trim away the, the excess of the squirrel. And I'm just going to come in and get this as close to the shank of the hook as possible. And I'm going to come around with a pinch and loop. And then another. And a couple of tight turns to secure in the squirrel. I just want to make sure everything's sitting right at this point for me. It's not set in stone, so you can always go back. Right, I'm happy enough for that. So I'm just going to come in with another couple of turns. Now, squirrel is a hair that tends to put out. So you're best to come in with some varnish or super glue, whatever you're comfortable using. This is just a wee like a super glue I'm putting on here. And then I'm just going to take this down. Over the cut ends of the squirrel, tan it in, and then I just want to come back up again to there. Okay, now at this point, there's a throat on the fly and it's white cock haggle. So I've got a white cock haggle here, I'm just going to bring the feathers out, and then I'm just going to take a few pinches of the cock hackle fiber. I want to get these in my hand. I'm just going to look to roll them around. Right. You know, for these up to the hook, be as long as you like, short as you like, it's up to you. I'm just going to put them the length of the body. I'm going to hold them under the hook and I'm going to bring my thread round with a pinch and loop and then another. I'm just going to tighten up. Right, I'm going to turn my hook around. Just rotate the vise. See what way I'm sitting. Right. I'm happy enough with that. My fibre there. Just take that away. I'm just going to bring my thread to there. And then I'm going to come in. I'm going to trim away the waist of the cock faber. The white cock faber. Now, I'm just going to bring my thread down, tidying everything up. There's still some of that on the thread, so I just want to take that off. Just tidy everything up. Bring your thread back up to there. Now, I'll be enough of that. Let me get it straight. Okay, then. Just come in with your whip finishing tool and whip finish off your 
thread tape and then just trim away the the excess. Now at this point I'm just going to come in with a touch of super glue. Just to finish the head off. And then once that's dry I'll come in with a coat of varnish, a couple of coats of varnish to seal up the super glue. Right? That's just a variant of the hardening special. Um, give it a go. Hopefully I'll catch you a few fish.